here in Salem. In 28 days, they made changes affecting guns, housing, and the homeless crisis. Brent Weisberg is live this morning with more. Brent. Hey, good morning to you guys. Uh, we can tell you that Governor Brown is uh, very happy about the accomplishments reached during this short legislative session. Not everyone is too happy, including the Republicans who think that this session was too short and that the barn door is closed too early. One of the biggest accomplishments that the governor points to is gun reform. It is expected that Governor Brown will officially close the intimate partner loophole law sometime this week when she signs that bill into law. It was one of the most controversial bills to come forward this session. The session ended eight days earlier than expected. Lawmakers also passed a proposal that will require medical practitioners to register with prescription monitoring pro programs as part of a new way to combat the opioid crisis. In a statement, Governor Brown says that uh, she is very glad that Oregon led the way on gun safety. She adds that closing the intimate partner loophole is a tool to move forward and end senseless gun violence. We have a full rundown on our website right now at coin.com. You can go there to see what the uh, lawmakers were able to achieve during this short session, but also some of the areas where they are not able to reach agreements on. Back to you.